Well, hello, friends. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. You know, it's January 2021. And even though it's January, I'm already thinking about spring. Yep. And I'm thinking about what I want to grow in my garden this spring. And yesterday I was excited when I got in the mail the seed catalog. It was a good reminder to me that it is time to think about spring and what to grow in my garden. Now, this year, or this past fall, I've actually made some changes in my outside garden area. So now I have to plan a little bit and think about what exactly I want to plant this year and to get some seeds. Uh, most likely I'll be planting some carrots, you know, maybe some radishes and some tomatoes and no mushrooms though. Don't like mushrooms. Well, I wouldn't plant mushrooms in my garden anyhow, but maybe some lettuce, you know, things like that. So I've been thinking about um, what I want to do with my garden. And I like to have a garden and I like to spend time in it. However, I know for sure that I could not be called a master gardener. It's not one of my greatest gifts. Gardener. You know, today we're going to talk about that word and that title. Jesus is the gardener. Now, Jesus did not call himself the gardener. And it's not a title that is used a lot in the Bible. We did hear it yesterday in our video about Jesus being the vine in John chapter 15, verse 1, where Jesus says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. But there's another verse that in the Bible that speaks to the gardener. And it's a verse about a mistaken identity. And it's found in the story of the resurrection of Jesus. In John chapter 20, we read this. But Mary stood outside the tomb crying. And as she cried, she bent over to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels dressed in white. And they were seated where Jesus' body had been. One of them was where Jesus' head had been laid. The other sat where his feet had been placed. And they asked her, Woman, why are you crying? And she said, They have taken my Lord away, and I don't know where they have put him. Then she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she didn't realize it was Jesus. And he asked her, Woman, why are you crying, and who are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener. So she said, Sir, did you carry him away? Tell me where you put him, then I will go and get him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him, and then she cried out in the Aramaic language, Rabboni. Rabboni means teacher. Again, another title of Jesus. And Jesus said, Do not hold on to me. I have not yet ascended to the Father. Instead, Mary, go to those who believe in me. Tell them, He is ascending to my Father and to your God, to my God and your God. So Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, and she said, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. You know, even though Mary mistook Jesus for a gardener, and it was a mistake, we could say that Jesus is the gardener. Jesus is the gardener that helps us grow good produce, like the fruit of the Spirit and other things that I have here in my basket. When Mary thinks Jesus is the gardener, it is a good reminder that Jesus is the heart and soul of our good growth, of eternal life, of resurrection. Do you remember hearing the story that Jesus told about the seed sower, the farmer, the gardener? In Matthew 13, we read this. That same day, Jesus left the house and sat by the Sea of Galilee. Large crowds gathered around him, so he got into a boat and he sat down. And all of the people stood on the shore and then he told them many things using stories. He said, a farmer got a seed catalog. No, he didn't say that, but he could have. He said this, a farmer went out to plant his seed, and he scattered the seeds on the ground. Some fell on the path. The birds came and ate it up. Some seeds fell on rocky places where there wasn't much soil. And the plants came up quickly because the soil wasn't deep. But when the sun came out, it burned up the plants, and they dried up because they had no roots. Other seed fell among thorns. The thorns grew up and crowded out the plants. And still other seed fell on good soil and produced a crop 160 or 30 times more than what was planted. You know, Jesus, as the gardener, wants to help us grow to be more like him 
and to also plant seeds of kindness, of goodness, of service, and of care. All of this which helps others. So let's be open to having Jesus be the gardener, to plant seeds in us that will grow to show love and help to others. I wish for you a day that's filled with growth, that's filled with good seeds, and above all else, that's filled with peace.